heel. Sit. Good boy. Sit. <laughs> All right, we're going to take one round first to see what it does. You ready? Ready. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on one of these pew pews, one of these shotguns. And right in front of me I have the Benelli M4, the iconic Benelli M4. Now, this was tested, battle proven for the military. Um, they went through a lot of ammunition till this finally got authorized and it was part of uh, I believe it became part of the Marine Corps first. The Marines started carrying this, and then once they found out that it was good to go, it transitioned over to a bunch of different branches. Um, and then, you know, they were made available to the civilian world. So I ended up picking one up a couple years ago. And base model for this gun, it's about three grand. Now, after that, I added a Surefire handrail. I did put an extension tube on this, had a Cerakote paint job, and here we're probably at maybe $4,500 into this shotgun. And it's it's kind of outrageous, you know, it's, it's up there. And there hadn't been anything else come out as a Benelli M4 that was affordable for everybody. And then the Turkish got a hold of it and they're like, all right, we're gonna be able to make something. And they came out with the Benelli M4 clone. The problem with it was that it wasn't very well built. It wasn't, uh, you know, you didn't have the smooth, uh, the smoothness of the uh, of the charging handle. There was a couple little things that just weren't adding up that people didn't really like. And you know, you can't really blame them. Those things were like four hundred dollars, and they were not great. I had one, and I ended up giving it away. But now there is something out in the market, so you don't have to compromise and get a four hundred dollar shotgun. This shotgun starts at fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars, somewhere around there. And it, I think it's well worth the price. Now I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna show it to you guys because this shotgun is special. I like the way that it's that that it comes off the package. So let me grab it. I'm gonna show you how it comes packaged, what's all in it, and then uh, we're gonna take it out to the range. We're gonna put some rounds through it and see how it does. This here is from Ortho Arms. Right off the bat, I love the packaging. When I opened it up, I was like, man, this is nice. It comes in this little red velvet um, sleeve. It does come with a bunch of different chokes and you get another one here. This is this is a home defense shotgun. Uh, you're not gonna go bird hunting with this. I mean, you can, uh, it's been done before, but if you want something uh, for home defense, this is the way to go. For some you know, reason, a lot of people like shotguns for, for home defense and that's fine. If that's, that's who you are, do it. Um, but check this thing out. Um, this is Ortho's version, or I should say M4 clone, of the Benelli. This one here is the Raider S4. This is the upgrade to the buttstock to the Benelli M4 that you saw a little while ago. And a lot of guys were doing this upgrade to this shotgun, uh, to this buttstock, uh, opposed to what it comes with. And another thing that they did is they added this extension is here as well for you to be able to charge it, which is a great, great upgrade. They ported the barrel. I don't know if you guys can see that here, but it's ported. They added an extended tube right off the bat. This here out of the box, it's like $1,500 opposed to $4,000 what I spent to do everything on that Benelli M4. Um, so if you are, you know, looking for a Benelli M4 clone and don't want to drop a dime, I mean, or like four grand on something, and this already has up the upgrades for $1,500, why not? I mean, you can throw a red dot on this, use it as, you know, for self-defense, 
take it out to do, you know, whatever you want to do with it. it it's already has all the upgrades that I want in a shotgun, especially in a Benelli M4. Uh, and I don't know, I, I think this clone here is, it, it's done very, very well, but you know, it looks pretty, but let's find out how it shoots. Now I brought a bunch of different types of ammunition out with us today to see how it cycles it, uh, different ammo, how it runs and you know, overall how it shoots because that's that's the most important part, right? You can have this shotgun and it'll look pretty, but when it comes time to use it, is it gonna perform, right? So let's find out. I Like I said, I brought a couple of different ammunitions and I think you guys are gonna like it. We're gonna have some fun with this. So let's get to the range and let's have some fun. All right, what I really like about this is this mag or this bolt release, I should say. It's super easy, put it in, see that? That right there is an upgrade that a lot of people don't think about. And once you have it, you're like, why didn't I think of that? I'm loving that. There's one round in there. Let's load up a few more and then take some shots. One. That's me, two. This is just for B-roll. Yeah. All right, first Max gonna go through this. We're gonna change our selector switch from safe to fire. The range is hot. Let's have some fun. <laughs> now that was just regular uh, rounds. There goes Cash thinking we're shooting birds and uh, he's trying to retrieve. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was, damn, that's fun. That was just regular uh, target shots. Um, Let's run another mag through that before we get into the fun stuff. That's so smooth. Hunt him up, Cash. Heel, sit, sit. So as you guys saw, it's seven plus one in here. The recoil is very minimal. Um, and that's got a lot to do with that porting there. Uh, but you guys have never looked up into why people port their shotguns, you should. Cause a lot of that air that's coming out from the, uh, from the gunpowder and whatnot, it's actually distributing through here. It's coming out instead of pushing back and you getting that recoil, a lot of that is coming out through here. Now, what I just noticed too, is they have a little rail up front as well. Like if you want to put a light on here, so when you're, you know, you're clearing your house, you can just tap it, turn it on and whatnot. They really thought about everything on this shotgun, to be honest with y'all, like I'm really digging it, but enough of that. Let's put some more rounds through it. Um, like again, this is a good, self-defense, uh, home defense gun. Be like, you know, you're, you're minding your own business at home. And all of a sudden, intruder, oh! He gone. And look at this pattern, y'all. Like, without really, I mean, I was aiming, but not really aiming, you know? You, look at this. I mean, there, there's no more intruder in your house. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. This thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. But let's step up the game a little bit. Let's change the ammunitions. Let's have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, let's see how it does with this, uh, this, these type of ammos that I brought. They're a little different. Um, I think you guys are gonna get a kick out of it. So let me go load a mag. Let me put one of the ballistic gels out here and, uh, and shoot it. <laughs> All right, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys this ammunition that we have here. Um, I think he's gonna get a kick out of it uh, that we're gonna put through this shotgun, so <laughs> let me grab it. And you know what? I'm just gonna stick my hand in there because we got a couple different uh, rounds and then whatever comes out first, we'll go with what we got. <laughs> Armor piercing, armor piercing incendiary rounds. We got three of them. Cash is ready, y'all. Look at this. 
He's like, shotgun's out. I'm next to my dad. We're gonna do some work. We're gonna sit Cash back here. Cash, sit, sit. Good boy. <laughs> you ready, Elijah? Ready, roll. <laughs> here we go. Oh! <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, look at that. Is that the exit or the entry? Oh man, I got all this stuff on it. That's cool. All right, our next ammunition take these off serious talk guys this one's dedicated to everybody that rides a jeep if you guys know when you drive a jeep people put ducks on your vehicles well that's what we're gonna do here so anytime i see a uh, jeep we're gonna duck it i guess that's what they call it these are duck shots they got ducks inside of them <laughs> let's see <laughs> what these look like on a ballistic gel because I mean if they look good in there they're gonna look good on a jeep right I mean cash is gonna see a duck and want to retrieve it you know <laughs> these things are cool you see it it's got like BBs and little duckies in there <laughs> oh man Sit, sit. All right. Duck shot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it's like it hit my hand. Did it? Yeah. What? Did it hurt? Nah. You can see it fly right back and hit me though. Look at Yancy here. I think we need to grab another round and get closer. All right, bring it a little closer. Let's see what this does here. Ah! Told you. <laughs> you saw <someone> bounce back. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh. Oh well, that was kind of fun, I guess. But now, we're gonna switch over to something very, very fun. We're gonna switch dummies. I got this thing like a few months ago. I took it out, never used it, so it kind of dried up a little bit, but it's perfect for what we're gonna do. It's perfect. There we go. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is the John Wick Special. This is Dragon Breath. If you guys saw the latest John Wick, which was what, John Wick 4? Yeah. And he's clearing, you know, that house, and you see the, uh, the rounds just explode everywhere. That is what we got here. Let's go see what it does. Cash here. Heel. Sit. Good boy. Sit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take one round first to see what it does. You ready? Ready. Oh shit. <laughs> we're gonna have to set it up again. Yo! Look at that. <laughs> what do you think, oh, Cash? Oh! It's leaking! Yeah. We gotta get back and do it again real fast. Come on, Cash. Alright, Elijah. Cue the slow mo, baby.
<laughs> Dude, dragon breath, that is awesome. Holy crap. I, I was not expecting that, were you? Uh, uh, oh, shit. It's still on fire. Oh, no, he's gonna end up like me. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Last round, I'm gonna maneuver this way so that I can hit it on the side of the head and finish him off. <laughs> he gone. Yeah, he's definitely done. I'd have a headache. <laughs> what do you think, Elijah? Should we just finish the back? I think blow it up. Let's do it. I'm just gonna have to go right there. <laughs> Execution style. There's an intruder. You're walking at home. You don't see him, you don't see him. Oh, there he is, two feet in front of you. Threat neutralize. Oh! <laughs> oh! Clean up on aisle three. I mean, wow. <laughs> well, now you know, if you're looking for an affordable M4 clone, Ortho has one available with everything on it, like we said, buttstock, mag release, handrail, you even got a rail up here to put a flashlight on it's ported it is already cerakoted <clears throat> i mean what else you want from it i mean this grip here was awesome this thing's a full package extended tube uh, i believe it's seven plus one i mean what else you need this thing is awesome and if you don't have the money for a benelli which i understand it they're pretty expensive this might be you know, something that you want to get into before you take that next step. But for the price, you can't beat it. These Turkish uh, clones are are legit. I, uh, I'm i pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. Super cool. But there it is, guys. We'll put the info down below. The Raider S4 from Ortho. This thing is awesome. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know if you guys enjoyed that episode. We'll do some more like this if you really enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun out here. And that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, leave me a favorite like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, crispy on.